Queen's birthday to be truly sad occasion as she prepares to turn 95 without Philip. The Queen will turn 95 on Wednesday, but as the milestone falls less than two weeks after the death of her beloved husband Prince Philip, her birthday will be a truly sad occasion, one royal commentator has claimed. Queen Elizabeth II, 94, will mark her first birthday since becoming a widow on April 21. The Queen will turn 95 just 12 days after her husband of 73 years Prince Philip passed away peacefully at Windsor Castle at the age of 99. The Stoic Queen is expected to mark her 95th birthday in private after plans to mark the milestone publicly were pared back following the Duke of Edinburgh's death. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, This birthday will be a truly sad occasion for the Queen as she will be without her strength and stay for over 73 years for the first time. Yet although owing to the restrictions imposed during the pandemic she was alone during the service on Saturday, she will have been much moved by the outpouring of sympathy for her at the passing of Prince Philip, a truly great Briton. She will also be sustained by her deep and abiding religious faith. This year the Queen's birthday will pass without a new portrait of the royal being released nor the traditional gun salutes. Mr Fitzwilliams added, this will be a birthday like no other, there will be no portrait released or gun salutes fired from the Tower of London in Hyde Park as is customary. It is thought that there will be a private family lunch and she will doubtless speak to members of her family virtually during a day when she passes another milestone. We shall miss the traditional commemorative portrait, as the release of photographs on the occasion of royal birthdays is a valued one and has included famous images such as those captured by Annie Leibovitz when the Queen turned 90. The Queen has shown her unwavering dedication to royal duty despite still mourning her husband. Mr. Fitzwilliams claimed. He added, during her period of mourning, she has nonetheless carried out engagements and the message she sends is that of continuing dedication to duty, as she swore she would on her 21st birthday when she broadcast from Cape Town. As she remarked during the celebrations for her Silver Jubilee, she made that promise in my salad days when I was green in judgment, I do not regret or retract one word of it. She has surely fulfilled that vow many times over and we are truly in her debt. Two days after the Duke's death, the Queen's second son Prince Andrew touched on how his mother was doing following a service in Philip's honour at All Saints Chapel Windsor. Speaking of his mother's bereavement Andrew said Prince Philip's passing had left a huge void in her life. He said, the Queen as you would expect is an incredibly stoic person. She described his passing as a miracle and she's contemplating. I think is the way that I would put it. She described it as having left a huge void in her life but we, the family, the ones that are close, are rallying round to make sure that we're there to support her. The Queen is expected to spend her birthday in private at Windsor Castle. She is unlikely to make a public outing to mark the milestone. The Queen's official birthday will be marked on the second Saturday of June in keeping with royal tradition. While trooping the color won't go ahead as usual this year, a smaller parade is expected to take place at Windsor Castle instead.